Right, I've just emerged through stinging nettles and stung my leg. The other side of this hill there's a big gully with a stream in it. But you've got to go round to get on down to the path to the beach and all that. There's a sign up here, we're on the right track. I've put a, more protection for my neck because of the sun beating down on my neck. Um, and the hat wasn't covering the nape of my neck. There's still some hills to do, by the way. Because in a minute, we go down and then we've got to go up. And once you've done that, that long bit up, that's more or less it then. I'm not walking to Kilve today. No, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to head back for the car. There we go. I'm just videoing. I'm just going to take one more look back over because earlier I was up on the hills there walking in the cool of the wood. It was beautiful. And I walked all the way along past the plantation there right over to West Quantock Head, right over there, where you can't see it now and then down to the holiday camp along the beach It's just keeping my neck cool is the main thing I find Keeping my neck cool Sorry, the camera's being messed about a bit I'm sorry, I'm very uncomfortable with my clothing I've got this very small t-shirt on and what happens it bunches up around the armpits when you put your um, rucksack on and it cuts in it's really uncomfortable and it gives you no room to move either it's like tight it's almost like having a bloody corset on around your armpits it's really uncomfortable Right, right over there, there's a hill with a path going up. That's what I've got to climb. Um, in about a quarter of an hour. Might be a bit longer, maybe say half an hour just to be on the safe side. Oh, it's good the sun's gone in for a minute. Thank God for that, yeah, because I've still got a lot of weaving to do. Though it looks like it's just there, there's weaving. Lots of weaving to do. I started off hot. I cooled down for a big section of the walk. I've kept hydrated as much as I can though. Because um, what happens when I get on the top of that hill? Up there. I'll get up there and I'll go through a gate. I'm not going to go along that way because I, before I've been along that way and that field there, then gone down a lane. Uh, I don't need to do that because I'll still have to go for another field to get back. So I'm just going to carry straight on here until there's the turning for me to turn to East Quantock Head. Oh God, look at that. Look at nature's geology, everyone. That's fantastic. Go ahead that on zoom then. That was on zoom for the whole of that. That would be really awful to watch. Mine head over there. I had it on zoom. When I zoomed into that track over there, I forgot to take it off zoom. I'll just zoom in for the nature's patios. Brilliant, isn't it? I wonder how far. I don't reckon the tide goes out very far here, you know. I don't reckon it does. It's beautiful though, isn't it? A lot of people won't come out with small children when it's really hot like this. It's supposed to cool off after today. I don't like missing the heat. I like to get my bones really warmed up. You know, I really do because I've got to put up with a cold winter yet. 
Right over there we've got Hinkley Point. Lots of cranes now. Busy place now that is. Very busy. Yeah, there's the tower. There's be more to be seen when we get round. And I've transferred some of that cliff top there. Full of fossils, full of history, full of geology. Just going to turn off now, take some pictures.